Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to look at, and potentially roast, some of the weirdest reptile content I could find on the internet. Let's dive in. First clip in, I'm already speechless. The level of stupidity there is, um, already intense. Rapaziada, existe uma espécie de rã que chama rã mandeiro. E você quer pagar o preço, né, capivara? Você já oi, põe a mão aí, põe a mão. I'm pretty sure the frog is kind of trying to perform the grasp it does during amplexus. So, yeah, I don't think it's really dangerous, but gave us a laugh all the same, I guess. Now that one was weird, but it was actually pretty interesting, so fair play. The anaconda struck and latched onto his head after he covered himself in pig's blood. It wrapped itself around his body and squeezed with terrifying force. The stunt promised he would be eaten alive, but as his arm began to crack under the pressure, he yelled for his team to rescue him. Viewers were furious, expecting the snake to swallow him whole. But instead, his helpers pulled the snake off when it had swallowed only the top of his head. Did that actually happen? If it did, then someone please let me know, because I'd quite like to see that. Rattlesnake. All right, guys, check this out. The Panamint Rattlesnake, just found here in California. I really wanted to see the pink and white ones, but this one's all right. I like the way he's posed up right now. Really hear that rattle. But a really cool snake. Hope we can get another one. Oh, yeah, this is really educational. It's really about the snake, isn't it? The jumping in the dirt thing has nothing to do with the clicks and the views. You <laughs> <laughs> Here we've clearly crossed the boundary from stupid to cruel. So we're still in the cruel kind of content arena, but that was, yeah, quite dumb as well. That was really breathtaking. I know that wasn't reptiles, but I just thought that was funny. That was like a bombardier beetle or a similar species um, that squirts a bit of acid, like a burst at predators, and there they've put like a sound effect and some flames coming out, which was fascinating. I didn't think I'd ever have to say this, but don't lick toads or snakes. Also, I'm really hoping one of you in the comments says, Will, you don't need to tell us not to lick toads. I really hope. Something unexpected came out of this pet snake's mouth, shocking everyone around. It looked like a cartoon with a wide open jaw. But if you look closely, you'll see it has no teeth. That's why it only eats eggs. This time, though, it made a mistake and tried to swallow a tennis ball thinking it was an egg. When it finally spat it out, the poor snake looked totally confused. But it was confused. I've seen a few of these now. It seems like it tends to be carpet pythons. And I also think there was one that swallowed a light bulb as well. I just know one of my regular subscribers will try to make some kind of rude joke about that. It happens on a regular basis, so I'm, I'm ready and waiting. <laughs> I 
It's always incredible to see a mass spawning event like that, and I bet in real life the sound would be deafening. Well, I suspect, and I really really hope, that snake was a venomoid meaning that it had its venom glands removed or something similar. Otherwise, it's not worth thinking about. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's such an actor. Hey, my boy. <laughs> Look, he's still fully coherent, y'all. Do not fall for it. Do not fall for it. You're so, you're so dramatic, bro. Can I give you a kiss? No, sir. Look at that thing. Ooh, that boy look mean. But he's actually nice, though. He's a good kid, I ain't gonna lie to you. Cool to see a behaviour like that, an observation like that, in the wild I was going to say, even though in the wild and invasive. Yeah. For AI that's not bad really, it's quite well done. There's always these telltale clues though that it's fake, and I mean usually they're even worse quality than this. But that snake, you can tell if you know anything about anacondas. It can't be an anaconda because the body proportions aren't right. You don't get an anaconda with a long, thin neck and a long, thin tail. Their skeleton just doesn't support that. Hey, lechero, estoy en Amazonia. Y esas ranas son mortales. Pero no tanto que ese jaguar que quería hacerme su bocadito. Esos días todos los animales me quieren dar besitos. Pero tranquilo que con el poder de la leche estoy protegido. Y acá te presento mis dos serpientes. ¿Cuál de las dos te parece la más linda? He visto algo en el agua. Leche acuática. Y acá está el caimán blanco, medía por lo menos un metro veinte. Pero no era nada en comparación a esta anaconda de casi siete metros. Ahorita me toca sufrir. No les voy a mentir que no fue tan malo. Pero las plantas venosas son mucho peor. Oye, ¿tú cómo estás? ¡Leche! Es su mecanismo de defensa. Eso es una coral mortal en el agua. Así que, leche suave. Que vea serpiente, no las mate. Esos saltamotes carnívoros de los tetus son los más grandes del mundo. ¡Oh, un delfino rosado! ¡Qué tierno! Solo que ese se comió a mi amigo. Nada más tierno que esa cría de boa. O de repente, nada más tierno que mi novio y amor de siempre. Y ese animal lo está copiando haciendo una dominada a un brazo. Wow. Was the theme, we harass animals, annoy them, and then hurt ourselves? Is it educational or is it just, just plain weird? Most of his video has been weird so far, so, you know, anything goes at this point. Hi, baby girl. Hi. You gonna come help? Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. well. Need a hand? No, I'm uh, gonna come out of crystal, hopefully. <laughs> yep, that would suck. That was a feeding response bite, you could tell by the wrapping afterwards. It wasn't just like a defensive nip, so, yeah, the rest of that video is pretty bad. I really feel sorry for her. Okay, hey, teman-teman. Jadi, kali ini kita lagi berada di Ciamis. Seperti, seperti biasa kita dapat ular hijau sama non non wet retik 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 sama emas ya oke okay. wow sangat ya yes. <laughs> that was dumb that was dumb and strange again at this point I'm just speechless I don't even know what to say where are you from stranger nowhere nice got a name hell Sam hell never heard of you she yours Barter to Leroy. Private barter. Well, yes, but shut your hole. No idea. No idea how that got in there. Sorry. I guess it kind of goes with the theme, though. Capek banget. Oke, okay, teman-teman. Kita mau istirahat dulu sambil cuci muka di depan karena kita udah kotor banget tuh lihat. Oke, okay, jadi kita mau cuci muka. Man, there's people literally making a living out of annoying animals and doing weird stuff and jumping around with them. I guarantee you the snakes aren't enjoying that at all. Except for when they occasionally land one on him. Anyway, we've seen a lot of ridiculous, weird and, and often quite stupid stuff in this video. And I wanted to highlight that. I wanted to highlight what is getting clicks. Now let's look at the opposite quickly. This is a guy, I'll just play a little bit of his work here, named Cameron Rognan. Hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Cameron. Anyway, he's making observations in the desert of potentially once in a lifetime encounters, and he's just sharing them with everyone. He's got a few thousand followers on Instagram, 
maybe under 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And he's sharing genuine scientific observations of his, like, amazing stuff. He's just captured a Gila monster battling a gopher snake for food. And this is something, even if I did 10 trips out west, I might never see it. And he's just sharing it for free. And this is the kind of stuff we should be focusing on and highlighting sometimes. If you like clickbait content and the silly stuff, I guess sometimes that's okay if it's not cruel, if it's for fun. But overall, I really want to get to a point where one day we are shifting the focus more onto Cameron's kind of stuff. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. That's about as much as I can take. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll subscribe and come back next week. Thank you very much.